Charlie Kaufman is one of the most talented writers and directors in the film industry. He always pursues weird, off-kilter ideas, but they're so dense with imagery, character, and themes that I just keep watching them over and over again. His newest film, Anomalisa, caught my eye because of the amazing animation done by Duke Johnson. It's sort of a stop motion with these intricate puppets with a unique style and aesthetic that is paramount to the movie and theme. The puppets are also animated amazingly, with intense care to the small intricate details, like small physical quirks, quick darting eyes, and small movements in the hands and mouth. However, none of this would matter if the voices and acting weren't top notch. Luckily, they are. The actors are subtle and nuanced, playing perfectly to their roles and characters. Speaking of characters, they're flawed, deep, and massively interesting. Every person felt real to me, even though they were just clearly stop-motion puppets. Their emotions are so brutal and raw that it almost hurt to watch sometimes. They can be dissected and analyzed because they have a lot of problems that are very foreign and unique, but on some level, very relatable. The story is also very simple and stripped back. It's possibly one of the most human, raw, and relatable movies I've seen in a very long time. And it's a stop animation movie. But just because it's an animation doesn't mean it's all peppy and upbeat. It's actually very depressing. It's hilarious in some parts, don't get me wrong, but depressing as a whole. Animalisa is a fantastic movie, and after watching it, you'll see why it couldn't have been anything other than an animation. It's something that I still think about long after I've watched it, scratching and nudging at the edge of my mind. I'm giving Animalisa a 9 out of 10.